Guitars makes an iconic American product. The company manufactures guitars from scratch here in the United States. A guitar is a work of art. It is a work for artists. It is made with considerable care. It's also made with manufacturing technology. This facility in El Cajon, California produces around 165 guitars per day. One of the manufacturing technologies that makes that production rate possible is vertical machining centers. I am in the midst of a, a room that is full of vertical machining centers, machines that I associate with metalworking, being used for woodworking, doing precise 3D sculpting of the necks of guitars. Julie Gardner is the neck department manager. Julie, how long have you been with Taylor? I've been with Taylor for 10 years. So tell us about this operation behind us. The operation behind us is our carving program. This is going to be the last machining program that's done to our necks before we sand them out and send them to our finished department. What wood is this? These necks are primarily mahogany. We have one maple neck in there. What is the cycle time to machine the eight necks that we see set up in here? This program will run eight necks in 35 minutes. And that, that cutting tool, how long will that last? How frequently will you change the tool? Our ball end mill will carve about a hundred necks a day and we'll change it every 10 days. So I see that there's vacuum fixturing that is holding the parts down. Where did that tooling come from? All of our tooling is made in-house. We have a tooling department a couple buildings over and they do all of our fixtures. Okay, so you have metalworking machining centers that are serving these woodworking machines. Correct. So all told here in the El Cajon site, how many machining centers do you have? We have 21 in production and about six more in our tooling area. You might think that wood is an easy workpiece material. Well, think again. The wood is organic. It's from a living thing and it's behaving in organic ways. Uh, the wood wants to accept and reject moisture. It is changing over time in unpredictable ways. That's why kiln drying, acclimation, baking the wood are all part of the process at Taylor to try to get the wood to do all of the movement that it's gonna do before fine manufacturing begins. The availability of wood is also changing over time. And that's something that Bob Taylor, the company founder, thinks a lot about. You know, we talked earlier about the NT neck. We're redesigning lots of components about that neck right now to make them better. Partially to be able to have a system that works in an ever-growing factory and partially to replace the slide in the quality of wood. There's just not as many trees left. So we have to use the trees that we wouldn't have used before. If a guitar maker says, no, we still get the very best wood there is, the best wood there is isn't nearly as good as the wood that there used to be. And so a lot of what we do just holds the line as well, and we're proud of that. It is a testament to Taylor's control over the material that the company can use machining not just to make the sculpted aesthetic forms, but also critical assembly features. Julie, what is the dimensional tolerance of this pocket? Our tolerance on this pocket is three thousandths of an inch. And tell me what this pocket's used for. This pocket's used to um, assemble the neck and body together. It allows for a bolt-on neck and to easily take it off to repair or adjust. So consider what that means. The quality of the sound of this instrument is determined by the quality of that fit. So in no small part, the music is being made not solely by the musician, but by the people here and by this machine. Yeah.